What is up, Capricorn? Welcome to your mid-August reading. So this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Capricorn. We're going to get you on the right path. By the end of this reading, you're going to have the answers you need and what you need to know, what's coming in that you don't see. All right, what is influencing your energy? What's the main message? And of course, what's your outcome? Once mom here lays out the cards, I'm going to clarify and you're going to find out some good stuff. I will say when I was meditating on your energy and I was doing my pre-shuffle, um, a lot of very independent energy came out, very strong energy, but also manifesting a love connection. Not like a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. It looks like you guys are manifesting something quite long-term. So I had a couple cards fall out and then also just kind of what I was gathering during my quiet time. All right, coming into the reading, what do we got? The horned one, look at you. That's the devil in this deck. And there you are. So right out of the gate, you're saying hi. What's the influence to the devil? Justice, major arcana for Libra. So with justice, we're taking that sword. We're cutting through that devil energy, which of course can be toxicity, feeling stuck, anything negative, fear, hell, it could even be, you know, that's around you as well. Somebody's, you know, got addictions or some sort of just toxic energy. But I think that you guys are taking on justice, especially if you have Libra in your chart. You're cutting through. What's on your mind? The Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups can be a very like fantasy-like energy, right? Kind of daydreaming about what you would do with options. Again, getting in the right frame of mind. The Seven of Cups is, you know, your options are starting to open, whether it's love or just in life in general. But again, it's kind of that dreamy energy, really, really fantasizing about what it would look like. I think it's the long-term relationship. What happened in the recent past? Five of Cups in reverse. Going through a hard time, maybe being disappointed in situations, relationships, whatever that is for you. But in the recent past, there was a shift in energy. See, that's getting that power back. That Five of Cups in reverse is I don't have to dwell on things that haven't worked in the past. I can move forward. I know there are partnerships ahead of me. Again, whether that's work or love. What's the situation? Yep, victory and success. We've got another sword. So anytime you see the sword, of course, it's air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it's also taking that sword and slicing and dicing, right? And with the Ace of Swords, it's to get to success, to victory. It's even having clarity in your own mind and your own thoughts. Could be some communication that's coming in as well. Um, you're waiting on these options to start opening. Coming into the near future, you'll experience the Eight of Swords. When's it coming? When's it coming? When's it coming? There's nothing I can do about it. But with the Eight of Swords, you really can, right? You just got to step out and make things happen. But this is feeling a little bit stuck. I think it's more in your mind, though, really fantasizing about your future in a situation here that you see a lot of victory with, all right? So again, it's like empowerment, making it happen. How do you see yourself right now? What are you up to? The Knight of Wands. Yeah, you want to pursue something. The Knights are coming and they're going. And the Knight of Wands is pursuing something with passion, right? Taking action, riding in, making something happen. He's the traveler of the deck. What's in your environment coming in that you don't see yet? What do we got? We got the Nine of Cups in reverse. Feeling a little bit drained, right? Because it's, you're in that Eight of Swords coming into the near future. So that Nine of Cups in your environment, the universe is bringing that energy to you. It, it's almost like they're like, here it is. It's in the foundation, victory, success. That clarity, that aha, that you can obtain something. But with the Nine of Cups in reverse, I think you guys are, I feel like your energy is super, um, like I kind of feel drained with your energy, not in a bad way. It's just that you guys are so like kind of obsessively thinking about your future. Again, whether that's work or love or whatever your situation is and you're manifesting, you're doing all the right things that you're almost like running your mind over and over. It's it's almost like heavy for you. It's hard to explain, but it's it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Again, we've got the Ace of Swords in the foundation, but it's almost like you're running out of gas. Like you start running on empty. You feel depleted a little bit emotionally because you're so driven to get to something with that Nine of Wands. What's going on in your hopes or fears? The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. There's the relationship. So you've got Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. That Nine of Pentacles in reverse is I'm ready to be in a relationship. I want a relationship. I don't want any more. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'ams. I'm tired of calling water Ubers for people. I'm ready to settle down. 
the nine of pentacles in reverse is wanting that relationship, wanting a commitment. Some of you are married already or you're in a long-term relationship and you're kind of fantasizing about what it would be like to be single. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, but you may be worried about finances or you're having something going on within that marriage or that commitment, that relationship. And it, there could be something toxic or you just feel stuck in it and you're kind of dreaming about maybe, you know, other options. I'm just, listen, I'm tired of, you know, you know, people not always telling the truth. All right. I'm a truth teller. I'm going to say it like it is. And that's what this feels like. We're all human. Somebody's contemplating getting out of a relationship and it could be that the relationship is toxic or abusive. Nothing wrong with that, leaving that situation, but you do feel stuck. And for some of you, it's because of a financial burden. What's the outcome? And the four swords. Laying back, right? Laying in bed, watching Netflix and eating Pop-Tarts. I'm kidding. But the four swords is recovery. It's like pulling away because you, you need a minute. You got to get your thoughts together. You got to figure out what your next move is. And again, kind of like laying there and at night when you're meditating or praying or whatever you do, right? Thinking about, well, what would this look like? What would this be like? And again, for some of you, it's not even a relationship. It's a work situation, right? Maybe, you know, um, owning a business, maybe going into a different line of work, maybe just thinking about your future and what you want to do after work. You know, it's just, it's a very kind of meditative, powerful dynamic energy. But at the same time, a lot of you guys are really thinking about a future and how you want to settle down within a relationship. All right, let's see what's up. What does Capricorn need to know? Hey, if y'all want, the link is going to be in the description box and pinned in the comments section below. If you guys want to check out my other channel, I do daily or every other day collective readings over there. So I would love it if you guys would pay me a visit over there. Also Friday, this Friday at 4 p.m. Central, I'm going to go live on this channel. We're going to do some tarot and we're going to do some tarot readings. It'll be fun. All right, let's check it out. So coming into the reading, we have you, the devil, Capricorn energy, and the seven of swords in reverse. Yeah, for a lot of you, there's a situation where somebody got caught being a bad boy or a bad girl. Some of you also, whether that's cheating, lying, stealing, something, they got caught or they're about to get caught. Somebody's getting caught. Others of you feel a little bit guilty because you are kind of thinking about other options and whether that le that means leaving family you know, maybe you have parents, you know, older parents or siblings or something like that, and you feel kind of guilty about starting your life and pursuing a dream of some sort, right? Because you feel stuck, tied and bound to a situation. What's the uh, influence? It's justice. Justice is here. Yeah, a family situation, 10 of cups. Those are two cards of marriage. Somebody's watching this reading and they're thinking about leaving a marriage or you're stuck in a marriage because, and somebody's not treating you right. Like there's something toxic going on but you feel tied and bound to the situation. And I think it's because maybe you have children, you know, obviously that's a big concern and, you know, you might be worried about the future and finances. What's on your mind, Capricorn? Seven of Cups and the Three of Cups. Just being happy. This is very much energy of like, oh, I would love to just go out with friends and be around family and, and you know, just have a good time. I want joy in my life and really dreaming and and you know, when you're manifesting, you're almost like visualizing what that would feel like, what that would look like for you in your life. And you can take that message across the board. You don't even have to be in a relationship. If you're completely single, you really are really, really. And that's why I think a lot of you, you feel a little bit burnt out. Like you feel emotionally drained because when we're manifesting and we're doing that work every day, it's draining. Take it from me right? And so it's visualizing what, what would that future look like, right? With this long-term commitment, with this ideal person by my side, or what would the situation look like if I could just, you know, retire one day, not have to work, you know, save my money and then live my dream, live my best life. What happened in the recent past? Five of cups in reverse. Uh oh, I'm about to sneeze. That was probably so loud. So sorry. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Major Arcana. But again, feeling stuck. 
this is really in the recent past kind of in that energy of I can't change it yet. Like it sucks. I've been disappointed or sad that I can't make movement. But right now, it's just what it is. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It's stuck. I can't get out of the situation. I can't move towards this beautiful kind of dreamlike, you know, state in my life. It's kind of just thinking about it and making plans. But at the same time, knowing that you have the power. What's this Ace of Swords? Because it'll happen. Yeah, see, Five of Cups. It's like, wah, wah, wah. I want that victory. I want that success now. Really kind of down on the dumps. Again, there's some of you that are in a relationship. You just don't want to be in the relationship. And you you really are. It's, it's hard for you to get out of that. You just want to take that sword and cut through the relationship, but you're stuck. Again, others of you having this dream about your life and knowing that the timing isn't just now. So trying to make the best of the situation. Coming in, you've got the Eight of Swords. What's this about? And the High Priestess, sign of Pisces. Some of you are secretly planning to do something, whether that's like start anew with your life, leave a relationship, manifest a new relationship, something like that. There's a little bit of a delay here because, again, something's keeping you tied and bound. And with that high priestess, of course, you know, the high priestess is all about, hold on, y'all. Empress in reverse just fell out on my floor. And this is all about somebody's not feeding a connection right? It's kind of, the connection is ill with the Empress in reverse. You've got Libra Taurus there, but that Empress in reverse is I'm not nurturing. It's not expanding. Somebody's not properly, you know, somebody's not treating me properly with, when it comes to a connection or even a job or career situation. There's somebody I'm reading too, that this is going on within um, your family, a sister, a mother, something like this. And it's really going to be mum's the word, right? It's very, the energy coming in is making plans, but it's being quite secretive about it. Not in a bad way. How do you see yourself? Knight of Wands. You just want to take pursuit. You want to go. Yeah. You're dreaming about it, right? The Nine of Cups. That's a dream. That's a wish fulfilled. And that's going towards whatever this is for you, your ideal future. What's in your environment coming in? What is that, y'all? What is it? Oh, yeah, we had the nine of coins, which is like the nine of pentacles. Uh-oh. Okay. I like this deck, but it is a little flimsy. What's this nine of coins? Why is this in your environment coming in? Nine of... Oh, no, that's in your hopes or fears, y'all. I'm sorry. Y'all give me a second. My eyesight's getting really bad. The nine of cups. Yeah, so there's that energy of feeling drained, right? It's like I have a wish, right? I'm, I'm manifesting the hell out of this, but it's like, when's it ever going to happen? You know, my wishes aren't coming in because it's very still energy. It's happening. It's happening. You just got to keep doing the work. Yeah. It's moving slow as hell with the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, it is money and career. Some of you just want to leave a job or a job situation and start really fantasizing and thinking about your future. I mean, I'm on board. I get it. What's going on in your hopes or fears? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you feel stuck. There it is. You're waiting around for money to get better. So if you're in a bad situation as far as a relationship, you're kind of just hanging around waiting because you got to save those coins. You may feel financially codependent on someone. This is like also um, some of you out there are, you know, you've had to move home. Like you're living with your parents or something because the damn economy is so bad. Like you're worried about finances or maybe you've lost a job or something like that. And so you feel a little bit codependent when it comes to finances right now. So you're just waiting around. You're trying to have that light bulb moment to move forward. I still like that the Ace of Swords is here. It's very powerful energy. And it really does talk about success coming. It just seems like there's a little bit of a delay. I would definitely recommend trying to save your money as much as you can. I know that's like mm, impossible because guess what? A dozen eggs are $6 right now. So have fun with that. Why is the hanged man in your feels with the lovers? Yeah, fantasizing about that connection, that soulmate energy. Some of you are in a bad situation and you're kind of dreaming about somebody kind of coming in and you're meeting that soulmate and you're happy. And because again, I feel like a lot of you have just been in that heavy energy for so long. Like you just want to be happy. You just want to feel light. You just want to enjoy life. All right. What's in the outcome? We've got the four of swords. What is it? 
That Four of Swords in this deck looks a little icy, a little cold. And the Four of Wands. So two fours, all about stability there. Yeah, taking a break from a relationship. It doesn't mean you're leaving yet, because I don't think a lot of you will. But that Four of Swords is getting your thoughts together. You might kind of withdraw from your partner, whomever it is. Because with the Four of Wands, this is, again, that Four of Swords is meditating. It's thinking about the future. It's praying. Whatever, Again, whatever you do, it's just that quiet time. And you're really, really trying to make it happen. And I think a lot of you are. It just seems like this is the beginning stages of it. And it has to do with happiness and more stability in your life, your relationships, your home, all of that. Some of you just want to move away. What's this four of wands? And the chariot in reverse. There's that stuck energy. There's a delay. The water Uber has been canceled. So with the chariot in reverse, you've got cancer energy there, cancerian. Chariot in reverse is just, again, something stuck. You can't move forward yet. And I think for a lot of you, it's financial um, others of you, again, once this starts to manifest and it starts to move, got to do the work, right? Once it starts to happen, it starts to move in your fields. You've got this energy of, again, manifesting a different type of relationship, a soulmate energy. That's when things start to happen on the relationship front. Those of you who are trying to get out of a relationship, I feel like there's just delays on that. Some of you might even move out and kind of delay completely leaving a marriage. Um, also, keep in mind, this could be going on external to you, Capricorn, like somebody you're into romantically and they're trying to get out of something. I feel like there's just delays, but you guys are both really dreaming and fantasizing about a life together. What's this Empress in reverse? Yeah, reality check, right? There's something here that you know you can't quite nurture, you can't expand, you can't grow yet. Because with the Seven of Cups in reverse, that's a reality chat. That's seeing the reality of a situation. I don't have any options yet. I got to kind of stay where I am for now. What's this Ace of Swords? Why is this in the foundation? Ace of Swords, wanting that success, that victory so badly. But with the Page of Wands in reverse, again, that can be a delay. Page of Wands in reverse is I can't take action. I can't make something new happen quite yet. Don't give up though. Don't give up. This Again, Ace of Swords is in the foundation. I would definitely recommend for the rest of August, honing in on your intuition, <clears throat> doing all the things you do, you need to do to protect your energy, clear your energy when you are manifesting, visualizing what that looks like, whatever that is to you that you're trying to manifest. What is it like? Be specific. It's not enough to just be like, hey, get me out of this shitty relationship or hey, bring me love, bring me a relationship. Well, what kind of relationship do you want? Visualize it. What would it look like? That energy is even stronger and it makes it happen that much quicker, that much faster for you. All right, y'all. Let's see. I'm going to pull a couple cards. What does your next love look like? So if you're with somebody, you're single, whatever your situation is, the next love, the next relationship you have, what might that person look like? What might their zodiac sign be? Also, put down in the comments, who's the last zodiac sign you dated? Relationship, dated, whatever, because I'm nosy and I want to know. What's their zodiac sign? So we've got the Magician, could be a Gemini, very charismatic energy, could be a Virgo too, typically Gemini, but that Magician makes things happen. They, they got the gift of the gab. I mean, they can talk their way out of anything and they're smooth, right? Probably a snappy dresser, very charismatic. People are drawn to that energy and they can make the best of a situation. So again, they can, they take all the tools they have, they spin it in a bull and they make it happen. It's magical. It's very powerful energy. In the upright, a little can be a little manipulative, but nothing like if it were in the reverse. This is somebody that just knows how to get their way. They're smooth. They're a smooth criminal, Capricorn. Again, they could have Gemini or Virgo in their chart and they're a nice dresser. That's what a nice dresser, that sounded weird. They know how to dress. They have nice style. All right, Capricorn, if you guys liked the video, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Leave your comments and uh, like the video if it hit for you. If not, check out your moon or your rising. Love you hard. Love me hard back and we'll speak soon. Take care.